as a way of just celebrating MK or Viola. No. We are here to celebrate all the masses of Nigeria who rose in the six year June 12 revolution to tell the Nigerian ruling class that they know this. Who rose to say that we want a socialist inclined Nigeria? We want a Nigeria that all for one and one for all. And so it is on this note that I will use this point to, to invite the national leader of the African Action Congress, Comrade Omoyele Showere, to give us the party's official position. June 12th. AAC, take it back. AAC, take it back. Take it back. Action. Solidarity is forever. Solidarity is forever. Solidarity is forever. Brave Nigerian people. Sorry. 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 AAC. Take it back. Revolution. Now. I'm standing right almost exactly where I stood when I was 22 years old behind MK Abiola. In 1993, after the criminal annulment of the 1993 June 12 election. And when I was hearing him that day, I had some hope that one day Nigeria will become a truly democratic nation. A nation where democracy does not mean stealing billions. Democracy does not translate to making life hard for citizens of Nigeria. Where democracy does not involve rigging elections and announcing a winner in the middle of the night. But today, 30 years later, the sad situation of Nigeria is that everything Abiola stood for, the people who are in power today are against it. In fact, Abiola's motto was an end to poverty. But today, the motto of the ruling class is the escalation of poverty. That is why when Abiola's so-called friend, Bola Tinubu, became president, the first thing he did was to attack the poor by removing the so-called poor subsidy. Greatest Nigerian people, yes. we are not part of those who come here to do their normal jamboree. Those when in their prime, they had a chance to fight for June 12th, they never fought for it. In fact, most of them fought against June 12th. But they are the ones probably now desecrating Abiola's grave by double speaking as usual. But I must tell you today that our party started from this compound 30 years ago when Abiola was being buried. We set up an organization known as Moshul Abiola Vanguard for Democracy. Those of us that started it are the ones who manifested for 30 years till now. And we have never changed our position. Yes, sir. Yes. Our position is that Abiola won the election in 1993 and he should be declared president. Our position is that just like those who illegally occupied office are being given presidential treatment, Abiola must also be given presidential treatment. He must be paid his emoluments every year, every month, like the rest of them. He must also, as you all know, be listed as a former president of Nigeria. In fact, the democracy day you are seeing today did not come from them. It came from us in Abel Kuta in 2018 when I spoke about turning June 12 to Democracy Day and not May 29, which is their own Democracy Day. Greatest Nigerian people, Great. Great. we haven't changed and we are not going to change. Sure. We will never support any legitimate government. Yes, we will never support the government that brings suffering and corruption on the Nigerian people. Yes, sir. And as I'm speaking to you today, I'm speaking on behalf of Abiola, who is laying down in the grave there, proud of all of us. That he knows that when we are sent to power, 
we make this country a better country. Yes. yes. We are not looking for power for the sake of getting power. We are looking for power so that we can make it an opportunity for every Nigerian to get what they deserve from this country. When you talk about fuel subsidy remover, the only reason they remove fuel subsidies is because they said people are manipulating the process. Who are the people manipulating the yes. fuel subsidy? It's the same them. Yes. They are members of the APC, PDP, or you know, all the three of them combined together. APC, DP, LP. Because even the Labour Party is an adjunct of either the PDP or the APC, depending on which of uh, the Labour Party person you are dealing with. One of their legislators said recently that he saw uh, Tinubu. He was so impressed. After he has eaten shawarma, he said that's so rough. He can't believe that this is, he had never seen a president like this before. Right. Reason is that the barrier for leadership is so low that somebody will praise a president that read the speech written for him as the best president in the country. And it also shows that they are not different from one another. They are the same. But the most important thing about us is that we are a people of history. When I was 22 years old, I fought for June 12. Now I'm 52 years old, I'm still fighting for June 12. But I'm not just fighting for June 12, I'm fighting for my future. I'm fighting for a better country. And we are the legitimate owners of June 12. Because it was an election that we have preserved to today. And we always say to those people who were hiding in 1993, people who said it doesn't concern them that if you don't make the country a, a better country one day it will affect you look at those people who are now shouting that there are no free and fair elections in 2023 if they had fought for free and fair elections in 1993 nigeria would have continued to have free and fair elections since 1993 i won't need a situation that they are in today greatest nigerian people yes. greatest nigerian people yes. AAC Revolution now no, no, this special when no, no. we were telling them in 2019 yes, that Buhari will go the way he came a disgraced person they didn't believe us yes, where's Buhari today Dara. Dara. and the number of cows he had in 2019 did not increase not in 2020 uh, the number of dollars <laughs> has increased <laughs> these are the criminals who are running Nigeria and there's no way people who have no ideas can run a country that needs development and progress with ideas. We are the people of ideas and we are going to take our country back very soon. Take it back! Action. Take it back! Action. Action. Please, any of these uh, government, people, government people inside, let them tell them to be careful. We are the real government of this country. Yes, the people. Let them let them respect themselves and not disrupt our very legitimate out here. Oh, no. Greatest Nigerian people, please be reminded that we are not a political party that runs away after election and come back every four, four years. We are here now, we will be here tomorrow, and we will be here forever to carry on the legacy of real democracy because today Nigeria does not have democracy. What we have is what Yoruba call Shege Krisi. This is democracy of Shege. And they will show everybody Shege as long as they are in power. Thank you very much. We singing. So, I don't think questions. Just a few questions. Two questions. You don't have time while I tell you. What did you just call it? Similarity. Similarity. So Abiola's election was hope ninety-three. You cannot renew hope if it's never existed. There was no hope ninety-three, so there cannot be a follow-up call renewal. And you know, as it is customary of Nigeria, whenever there is an original, there is a counter. You can tell by the way they started their renewal of hope by killing the hope of our Nigerian people to eat on a daily basis after two weeks in office. So there's no hope.
Yeah, the Nigerian Supreme Election was free and fair. Was twenty twenty three presidential election free and fair? Have you been under the wall? I contested the nineteen ninety I mean twenty twenty three election. And I was the first person to come out that there was no election. When somebody tells me in the media that, oh, you lost election, you can only lose an election if there was an election. It was a selection, and that's what it did. In 1993, though, by free and fair elections since 1993. And that's what I was saying. Those who were against 1993 struggle are also now complaining that the 2023 election is not credible. But if they had fought when they were 22 years old, like me, Nigeria would have had to bring something since 1993. Not 30 years later, of hopeless. Okay. I do not okay. support the 2023 election. It wasn't an election. It was a selection. I don't care whether the election was won by a Muslim or a Christian. I am not a religious person. If I had become president, I would have used Shongo to swear myself in so that you will know that Nigeria is a multi religious society. Yes. And I assure you that if you swear the ministers according to the gods in the area, they will be afraid to steal. Yes, because they know the Bible and the Quran. They don't fear it anymore. These people don't fear God anymore because they are pocketed in the Nigerian God. Thank you.